As a tech reviewer, I have the privilege to test out hundreds of gadgets each year. While many products are great, only on rare occasions I can say that I'm blown away by the innovation, quality and the overall user experience of the product. This is Unreal Air, lightweight and comfortable to wear AR glasses that I've enjoyed using for a few months now and let me be very honest with you, this is one of my favorite gadgets in 2022 and here's why. To begin with, it's not an easy task to film and convey the entire experience using any AR glasses. While Unreal's software is very good, its built-in screen recording feature records just the screen itself but not the surroundings you see while you're wearing the glasses, which obviously would require additional cameras. In reality, you can simply walk through the streets and see the surroundings as the image is projected as a see-through hologram. Just use caution while you're doing that. You simply have to try these glasses yourself to understand how good they are. In this video, I'll share my experience. So this is how it works, you simply connect the glasses to the phone using the supplied cable and the Nebula app will automatically launch if you have it already installed. You can find an official list of compatible devices, in this video I use a OnePlus phone. The Nebula, which is Unreal's 3D operating environment, allows you to choose between MR space and air casting which is a fancy name for screen mirroring from your phone. Namely, the MR space makes the entire experience of the Unreal Air special. Honestly, I didn't expect the software to be this well thought out, polished and easy to use. You can simply use your phone as a laser pointer to navigate through the UI which is intuitive and the pointer is very accurate. You can choose between two modes, thanks to the super accurate 3DOF head tracking system, the projected image tracks your head movements while you walk or well, simply move your head. If you are at home, you can choose the image to stay in one position even if you move your head. You can also adjust brightness, sound and other settings. However, my favorite feature is the ability to easily adjust the image size and distance by simply swiping the trackpad on your phone. This is such a cool feature and everyone who tried these AR glasses were blown away by futuristic wipes it provided. You can watch YouTube videos, browse the web, social media, see the photos taken with your phone and even multitask by opening several windows at the same time. Another cool feature, a cycling app that has a bunch of routes from all over the world. I don't have a stationary bike but I love using this app for relaxation. You simply put on the glasses and explore the area. None of these features and polished software would matter if the picture quality was bad. Well, it's quite the opposite. You can see a tech sharp 201 inches projected image produced by two Sony Micro OLED 1080p displays. The picture is much better than anything I've seen on VR headsets. Also, it's surprisingly bright and vivid. The viewing experience could be compared to high quality projector but it is more immersive and well, dynamic if you use the head tracking feature. For instance, when I feel tired and I want to lay down, I'm still able to watch Netflix. In addition, the linear speakers are really good and you can clearly hear the dialogues. That means that you have your personal cinema experience right in front of you. Most importantly, my eyes never got tired even after watching several episodes of Better Call Saul. As a matter of fact, Unreal Air has attained the world's first DUV Rainland Eye Care certification for AR glasses which may not sound like a big deal for some but in practice I could use the glasses for hours without feeling eye strain. A fun fact, I've been using the Unreal Air glasses more often than my Sony A90 JTV which is kind of ridiculous if you are at home but I just really love the overall picture and sound quality and immersive experience of these AR glasses. If you are out and about, this device is excellent. It is lightweight, comfortable to wear and most importantly, the Unreal Air look like regular glasses, just a tad bigger. The glasses are comfortable to me out of the box but make sure to choose the right size of nose pads that you can find in the retail packaging. You also get a prescription lens frame, a really nice quality travel case, USB Type-C cable, a cleaning cloth and last but not least, a light shield that I've used quite a lot. 
It blocks out the light and the surroundings so we can see just the projected image. This is very useful for example while you're on the plane, train or anywhere else where you want to simply enjoy your favorite content without any distractions. I even used it at home while watching my favorite TV shows on Netflix. The glasses also have a three-position adjustment for optimal gaze angle and power on or off as well as brightness adjustment keys. I mostly use the Unreal Air for watching TV shows and YouTube videos, but I think these glasses could work great for follow-along workouts, watching sports events, and even playing 3D games on your phone, Xbox, PlayStation, or other compatible device. All things considered, the Unreal Air is an incredible piece of technology. I've used these AR glasses for months and I love excellent image quality and good sound, they are comfortable to wear for hours and Nebula user interface works really well. The Unreal Air have already launched in the UK in an exclusive partnership with the EE and they cost £399. If you live in the US, you can get them for 379 bucks from Amazon, which I think is well worth the price considering the technology and the overall user experience along with futuristic wipes these AR glasses provide. Highly recommended. Techline seal of approval. What do you think about the Unreal Air? Tell me in the comment section down below. Also like the video if you liked it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, it was Linus. Thank you for watching and see you soon.